This is my Forja Chuck. They call it a Forja Chuck because of... Uh, but I suppose you already figured it out. It is a cheap, low quality thing that comes from far away, but for what I do, it works perfectly fine. So I'm really happy with it. To make it fit on my lathe, I had to cut out a whole section here behind. And since I did this, there is a little bit of a problem with it to fit it on my other lathe. This thing registers here, of course, on this rim with these four little cutouts here. Very small, hardly visible on camera. And when the thing is not mounted, it spins really freely. But when I put the thing in place and I tighten the four bolts here, the thing deforms and it becomes really hard to spin. For the other lathe there is no problem because this whole surface is registering, is pressed down and registers on this surface. So on the small lathe no problem, on the Celtic problem. Because between here and here there is 8 millimeters of nothing. So what I would like to do is to make some kind of washer that fits in here to fill the empty space. And to do so I think I have exactly what I need. This is an old backplate I made for this thing. But I can't use it anymore because I did some changes on this one and in this lathe and on the other lathe. So this one becomes useless. So let's make it useful again. And because the fill the gap ring will serve on this machine, I will also make it on this machine. So the first thing to do is to drill out the four bolt holes here, because as you can see, they are threaded. I want to install of course my future plate here on the lathe and that's where I saw that in fact my bolts doesn't fit. That's a bit strange because this is in the 10 mm box and the shank indeed is 10 mm. And of course this milling cutter fits perfectly in the freshly milled Oh, this is a 10 mm drill bit and it doesn't fit. So taking the part out before doing a test fit, that's not really smart. But luckily I have my high precision drill press. And now it fits just fine. But if I want to work this big surface, my four bolts will be in the way. So that's not really easy to work.
And if I want to work this surface, again, my four bolts will be in the way. And there is this rim, so my bolts will just pinch on a very small surface here. That's not gonna work. But there is more. Because I have to reduce this outer diameter and maybe in a stupid moment I risk to cut in this plate. But if I install it here on this machine I have this three bolt pattern in here. And it fits perfectly of course because it's made for it. And I also have the four bolt pattern in here which of course also fits perfectly in both directions. And because I have to reduce this outer diameter to exactly this outer diameter, I think that's a better option. So use this machine. I will start by reducing this outer diameter to the same dimensions than my back plate here. I had to install the boring bar because with the tool holder here there is not enough reach. So this will work much better. This was also the end of the cutting edge of the thing here. One down, two more to go. That's good. I install the part the other way around now to take down this thickness, which now for the moment is 11 and it needs to be 8. That's not good. Uh -huh.
I think this will work just fine. All that's left to do now is to bore out this hole here to more or less the dimensions of this hole. But if I install it here on this lathe, the end of the boring is touching the back plate. So that's not gonna work. Over to the Celtic. Bolts too long. I have to fill it up here with washers. Good. All assembled again and I would like to tell you now how good I am and what a great success it was. But I'm not gonna do this because it's not a success. This one it spins but not, not nothing fantastic. This one same I think all four of them about the same. It's better than before, than without my special washer here. It is, but it's still not the great success I was hoping for. Let's install something cylindric in here and check how easy or not easy it is. Conclusion. Installing a part in this chuck is not more or less complicated than it was before. It stays exactly the same. So for me that's okay. But the big win is of course that now the gap here between two is filled. So 
there's no more room for chips and dinosaurs and all the things going in here. So it still is a win.